So uh, new $20, minimum, $20 minimum wage, effective Monday, California will implement a groundbreaking law raising the minimum wage to fast food workers to $20, acknowledging the shift in the workforce from teenagers to adults supporting families. Ingrid Valorio, former full-time fast food worker, expressed appreciation for the raise, noting its potential to reduce the need for multiple jobs. A $20 raise is great. I wish this would have come sooner. However, franchise owner like Alex Johnson has, are grappling with the law's impact on their business. Johnson, who owns... Auntie's Ann's Pretzels and Cinnabon Restaurants in the Bay Area faces annual expenses of $470,000 due, damn, wow. uh, 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 increased wages. He anticipates raising prices by 5 to 15% and is considering selling or closing his business. This law is really hurting our operations hard. Tom. Well, if you go back, and Chris, you may remember this, where New York said fast food workers are going to get a raise. I think it was only $15 an hour, and it goes back about three election cycles. No, no, it goes back longer than that. It goes back like four election cycles. And do you remember what McDonald's did? McDonald's accelerated, and there is a company that makes software that was in the Southwest kiosk. And anybody that knows air travel, you go back, 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 back. I think it was Southwest Airlines was the first one with the self-serve kiosk. Why? They were trying to be a low-cost airline. So they made it easy. You would go in there and you would check in. Boom, there your boarding pass with your number would pop out. And so what happened in New York is the kiosk that took away jobs inside McDonald's was accelerated. So whenever you do something like this, they just think that it's permanent. But there is a, what did they say? What's that? Uh, Anyway, there's a scientific law that there's an equal and opposite reaction. Well, whenever you mess with inventors and capitalists, there's a reaction that says, okay, how do I operate a profitable business if this is now a legal constraint? And guess what happens? That brings you kiosks that actually took jobs away from teenagers and people. And when someone decides that working at the counter at McDonald's has to be a living wage job, that is a decision that is antithetical and doesn't work with the natural economics of a small fast food establishment. And so you're seeing the reaction here. And then you have a, a quote from a, of course, any good story has got two quotes in it. One from a fast food worker says, oh, this couldn't happen fast enough. And one from an owner that says, oh, it's the ruin of me. But what you're going to see here, it's going to accelerate kiosk. It's going to accelerate a lot of things because that's the way entrepreneurs react. And by the way, Auntie Annie's and Cinnabon are both franchises. If you don't think that they're working across the board to protect all of their franchisees' outlets, you're not paying attention. Tom, it was Isaac Newton's law. I, I'm a little disappointed as a rocket scientist's son. You didn't know. Newton, come on, bro. Shift. I was getting annoyed, and I just didn't want to misquote it. It's all good. But by the way, do you know how much $20 an hour is for an average worker, just to put it in simplistic terms? That's forty grand a year. Mm -hmm. You're playing the, paying the guy to work the kiosk at the Cinnabon. Yeah. I remember my first job. I was in high school, 15 years old. You were when you were doing your uh, Baskin Robbins. Was that your first job, dude? You're making Hagen like Hagen I apologize to the ice cream. Yeah, I was making the like four bucks. Sunday, banana split guy in all of Glendale Gallery. You were yes. the guy. I was the goat. I was just people gotcha. know. But tell them about They're your Burger King. Super well, Your Burger King skills, PBD. Listen, Burger King, my cashier, my boss Eddie said you talk too much. You can't be a cashier. I'm making you <laughs> shit. He says, the customers, they got to come and go. You talk to them too much. I'm like, dude, I like people. He says, no, go be a chef. So I was a chef with a medium shirt. That's so funny. It's medium, medium shirt. So I'm like this, and everybody would see my lower back. It's like, look at But no hair. back hair. No, no back hair. <laughs> no, no not, not this guy. Not this guy. Okay. The amount of traffic we're getting right now with Manect is unbelievable. Yesterday, I can't even tell you how many Manects came through yesterday for me. Great conversations. People booking 15-minute calls. Tom is about to cross 2,000 Manects. Okay, he'll be the first person to have 2,000 paid Manects. Uh, uh, there, I know Chris uh, is probably one of the fastest to respond on Manek. I think he's a 24-hour guy at 100% response back to answer. So if you have any questions today, if you disagree with me or agree with Tom or Vinny or Adam or Como, these are their QR codes, ask him any question you want on Manek. There's a 95% chance you get a respond back on Instagram, you get respond backs 5%. On LinkedIn, 5%. On Twitter, less than 10%. On Manect, there's a 90 to a 95% chance they're going to get back to you. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.